Welcome back to EETV. Okay, I'm back. I've fixed my drawing. As you saw in the last drawing that uh, I had said 1, but this distance is actually 1.5. So the gap between the drawings are 1.5, as you can see. Now, the next thing you need to do is to change the current layer to object. And the easiest way to do that is just to uh, pull down on the layers and select object. So now whatever you draw will be an object. And then to use what's called running snaps. Instead of using the object snap toolbar here, you're going to use uh, running snaps. So you want to go to toolbars or tools and then drafting settings and then you're going to go up to object snap and what they want you to ensure is that the object snap box is on and you see it says F3 and then it wants you to add intersection Let's see it says add intersection, endpoint, and extension. So endpoint, midsection, intersection, and extension. And so then push OK is confirm. And then it says you notice it's uh, the O snap button is switched on. We can toggle back and forth. So here's the O snap. And again, if I hit F3, F3 it goes off, F3 it goes on. So uh, then we want to create some object lines. So it says to select line. Move to the intersection of any two lines, visual aid. Um, and then repeat the line and go around each square where we're going to be making our. So right there to right there. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar repeats the last command. Remember, if you're doing a circle diameter, it will change back to radius, and you have to right button click and change it back to diameter. All right, so I've got my front view here, my top view, and my right side view with a gap of 1.5 in between and now if you on the object properties right right here a layer control box you move the cursor over and you see construction and there's a light bulb there you can turn it off and what will happen is you'll just have your three squares there so the construction layer is off. Alright, then adding more objects on the front view. So on the front view, it says offset, so we're going to offset, we're going to offset 1, so I'm going to type in 1, and I'm just going to select here, and select here. That is pretty easy, and then it says to trim this. So I'm going to select all this, trim, and I don't want this piece, this piece, this piece, or this piece. So I just have the L shape. Okay, when one of the tools you can use is called the AutoCAD's Auto Snap Auto Track features, which is pretty good. Um, this button right down here is the if it'll uh, object snap tracking. So it says to um, select line. Oh, in the status bar, make sure that this is on. So we've got this on, and then we're going to select line, and I'm going to 
come down here to this reference point and then just move up and you'll notice it will track until I've got the intersection you're gonna select come down and select so you will have a line going all the way down spacebar that and then adding more objects to the the we are going to offset this remember this is three inches high right so I'm gonna offset I'm gonna choose one inch I'm gonna select here one time here one time and then spacebar and have that as our Um, and then the next cool tool to use is called the snap from I use this tool a lot so it's gonna say pick a line and I'm gonna sh start from this point down here and so I first pick snap from and I pick this point as a reference. I'm not going to make a line from there. I'm going to just as a reference. Now you'll notice over here it says you type in at 0, 0, 0.25. So we're right here and we do at 0, which means don't go left or right, comma, uh, 0. 0.25. Five, so 0.25 up. Now you notice it didn't start from the corner, it started from 0.25 up. I then I do it again, I come back to snap from, which is a second one. I go back to that spot, and this time I am going to choose at negative 1.75 five comma zero which means just come over this way don't go up or down uh, 1.75 to the left I hit enter and I've created my line right there so you'll see that and then it would it says on my own to do this one so again line snap from right here I'm gonna start off with negative 1.7 oh, what? don't forget to put the at negative 1.75 comma 0 so I'm starting over there and then I'm going to snap from at 0 don't go left or right comma now I want to go down instead of up so negative 0.25 and I have my two lines there then it says uh, use a snap from option create a circle one inch diameter as shown so you can tell it's 1.5 up and 2.25 over so I am going to create a circle diameter it's going to be one inch. I'm going to go from snap from this lower corner. I'm going to do at, meaning make that the origin, negative 2.25, comma, 1.5, enter. Then I'm going to say one for a diameter, and I have my circle right there in the middle. select trim and then trim this up so it looks like that so I am going to select this trim get rid of the pieces that are not necessary believe that's all trimmed up and then it says 
do these little notches on my own offset and trim as necessary so again it wants me to use offset so there's a whole bunch of ways you could do this but offset and I'm gonna type in 0.5 enter and I'm going to offset this upward this downward space offset again but this time 0.25 and I'm going to offset this one this way. This one, this one. Wow. Does not want to. This one in this direction. Good. Alright, so then this time I'm just going to select this line, this line, this line, and this line to trim. So. And I need to trim this line, it appears. Trim. And get rid of that. So, I have, if you look, I have an L shape, I have the top view, and just a box over here. 